Hey, this is a super simple guide on how to import and use Mogurts inside of Premiere Pro. I'm using this because I'm actually selling some Mogurts via my store. Uh, and for this example, we're going to be using the YouTube subscribe CTAs, which are available right now. So to use these, what you're going to find, the folder you're going to get is going to be zipped. So first and foremost, you're going to want to extract that. And normally you can just export this and it will open the folder in the exact same location right here. So what you'll find when you open one of my packs is we have some basic animations, which are very simple overlays like this. And it's just got a nice simple thing that you can just drag and drop, remove the chroma key if you don't have access to Premiere Pro. There are also some documentation such as guides and walkthroughs, thank you notes. There's a font if for some reason you're missing it, but it should be included with your, your PC if you're using Windows or Mac. And of course, we have the video previews in case you wanted an example of what they look like and the Mogut files themselves. So let's keep this open for now and open up Premiere Pro. And then we're pretty much ready to go. So what you'll see is there's this one little tab over here called Essential Graphics. If you can't find it, you can go to Window and then Essential Graphics will be right here. Tapping it will open up and highlight the window for you. Now, you're going to want to go to your Mogats over here, select them all, drag them in, and then in a couple of seconds, they're going to be imported. It may not show a preview. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> that's just the way Premiere works. If for some reason you can't drag or drop, you can go down here to the bottom right corner and select Install Motion Graphic Template. But of course, ours are in, so you don't have to worry about any of that for now. Select the one that you want to use. In this case, we're going to be using the Subscribe CTA Lite. Drag it into your timeline. Again, any layer or anything will work, and it does come with sound effects ready to go. And as you can see, all the animations and everything are ready to go. What you're going to want to do now is find a point where you can see everything on screen. And in the Essential Graphics window, select Edit. Make sure you've selected your Mogut, your little template down here. And you can then go in and customize the username. So in this case, we could change it to PewDiePie and 100 million subscribers. Of course, customize this to whatever you'd like. And then for the profile picture, you may notice there's no option to select anything. So what we're going to want to do is grab a profile picture from your social media, your Twitter, whatever, or if you have one laying around on your computer, just click, drag, and voila. Now, when we close this, what you'll find is that that is ready to go. So you can completely customize this. I'm working on a version where you can change the fonts and the size and things like that as well. But for now, that's pretty much all we need access to. And of course, you can change the width and the scale, the height, all that kind of stuff. And it changes what it looks like down there. So now we're super zoomed into my beard. And that's terrifying. Now, you can just leave it like that and just do that every single time you want to use a Mogut in one of your projects, or you can export this, the one that we've already made, as a green screen or one with a transparent background. To do the green screen method, you're going to go over to here, which is the project folder, right click, new item, color mat. And of course, make sure that these settings are the same as your sequence. Doesn't really matter too much for pictures, but better just to be on the safe side. We're going to find a nice color green. You want something that will stand out from the crowd and select OK. Call it green screen if you'd like to be organized. Drag it down here into your timeline. Stretch it all the way across. And then you're pretty much ready to go. One thing that is worth noting, there are a couple of Mogats uh, over here, such as the rainbow ones. I do not suggest exporting these because obviously the rainbow has green in it and when you use the ultra key to remove the green screen it's going to take away some of that little rainbow so just stick to the basic designs or maybe try using a different color or you can use the transparent method we're going to talk about in a second so that is ready to go now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and export this green screen light cta the settings should be perfectly fine if you've done everything in your sequence correctly and export. Now, you're pretty much done with the green screen method, but I'm going to show you how to do a transparent version as well. We're back here in our timeline. Where we're going to go and delete the green screen. Make sure that there isn't a background layer selected and that all you have is the Mogut. Now, when you go to export, what you can do, I've got a preset right here called transparent video, and I'm going to run through the settings with you. First and foremost, we have a format, which is QuickTime. This is the only way that I know of anyway that you're going to be able to get a transparent animation. Scroll down and make sure video codec is set to animation. Keep going all the way down. And like I said, you can just go ahead and copy any of these settings if you need to. You want uh, 8 BPC plus alpha. 
that's going to give you the alpha mask and give you the transparent background. And then, of course, maximum render quality. I think that's pretty much everything that you need. If for some reason my method doesn't work, feel free to look it up on YouTube. There are probably better guides and tutorials than what I can provide. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and rename the file. Transparent CTA. And then we're good to go. These transparent files do typically tend to take up a bit more memory than the green screen ones. Not a big deal for most people, but just something worth keeping an eye on. So here is a very simple example of how to use both of the ones that we just created. With the green screen one, all you want to do is just go ahead, place it on top, then go to your effects, search for ultra key. This tends to work best in my opinion. Drag it onto your green screen. Use the eyedropper tool and the effect controls. Select the green, and just like that, you have a transparent image. Now, like I said, this can be an issue if you don't have access to green screen removing tools. So the transparent version, again, we just bring it down, take it onto your timeline, and it's already done for you. No green screen needed. It's ready to go. Just as an example for the file sizes, the green screen version is only one megabyte, whereas the transparent version is 64. Again, not a big deal in this modern day and age of having devices with huge storage capacities, but it is worth noting if you want to do animations that are longer than two or three seconds like this one. That's all for now, but if you have any concerns or issues, feel free to drop a comment down below or throw me an email and I'll be more than happy to help. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the store. There is a link in the description. And if you are a content creator, I've actually got over three and a half thousand assets available right now for free via my newsletter. Again, there's a link in the description. Go check it out. I hope this helps. Happy creating, keep working hard, and I'll catch you in the next one.